What's up everybody? Corey from Keen Ramps. We're here at the shop and today we have our curb cover homies. We got Matt, we got Luke, and we got the Cali kids, What's Julian up? and Quentin. Uh, so today, basically, we're going to talk about all things that are coping on ledges. So we're going to mostly compare traditional angle iron to the curb covers ledge cover. We're going to talk about the pluses and minuses of that. And then we're also going to kind of dive into just the coping that we use on our boxes and why we use that. And then we're just gonna get some feedback from these guys on what they like, what they didn't like, what feels better. So if you're interested in building your own box or maybe putting coping on a ledge in the streets, this video is gonna be super helpful. We hope you learned something. Be sure to let us know in the comments what else you wanna see and other skaters you wanna see. And yeah, thanks for watching. So like I said, the main thing we're gonna do today is compare traditional angle iron. So this is what most people are gonna pick up at Home Depot. Um, I am an angle iron hater. I grew up skating angle iron, like making my own boxes and stuff, but just over time figuring out that there's different options out there, you just learn to hate this stuff. It's not the worst, I mean it works, but when you skate other things like rounded over edges and or this perfect ledge cover, you're gonna see why angle iron sucks. So yeah, we got two angle irons here. They're from Home Depot. This one is two inches. This one, I believe, is an inch or an inch and a quarter. Uh, typically, the thinner you go on the angle iron, the sharper this little edge is gonna be. I actually split my shin open this, on this one time when I was a teenager, and I got a bunch of stitches, and that's probably why I hate this stuff so much. Thankfully, the bigger stuff, the two inch, because it's bigger, the edge is ever so slightly more rounded, which is cool. And then here, we have the Curb Cover X Keen Ramps ledge cover. And this has six inches of real estate on the top. And then we got three inches on the face. And the really nice thing about this is it has this very rounded edge. You can probably see that profile there. So nice and rounded. It's also powder coated, which is sick because it's not gonna rust. Angle iron, you are gonna have to treat it, paint it, constantly wax it. It's gonna grab your trucks more. So these are just things that I've gathered over the years from skating and building things. Um, but we wanna show you guys firsthand how different things skate and provide some feedback from some young rippers. So, yeah, Matt and Luke, let's hear about the, the ledge cover a little bit. Like, what was the inspo? What, what got you guys started on that? I know you, you started curb cover and it was all about, you know, covering the curb. It's like your typical California curb has yeah. that angle. What made you guys do this? Yeah, well, we got a lot of feedback that said, hey, why don't you guys make something for ledges uh, as well as curbs? We'd already been working on that. And one of the reasons we had is because we see skate stoppers everywhere. And some of our spots have skate stoppers. And uh, instead of just knocking them all off or going to a different spot, we just decided, let's try to cover them. And so the ledge cover covers skate stoppers. Uh, Corey, you were the first one to skate this cover yep. over ledge stoppers over the Long Beach Rescue Mission. They were fat stoppers and it still worked. And so we just kind of got going with it. We did three inches on the front so that uh, wheels could have plenty of real estate. We did six inches on the top. So the weight of it holds it on a ledge on the top, but also more real estate up here for the tricks that you'll do. Um, people have been asking us about the powder coating. Guy Mariano was in here asking us, what do you put on that stuff? And it's kind of a secret, right? We've got um, an industrial powder coating that is put on this that makes it really buttery. And then we've got some custom felt backing that helps it to stick uh, and grab to the ledge and a little, uh, little rubber on the front to help deaden sound and also get a tight fit on the ledge as well as kind of hold it tight up here with the felt. So that's about it. We got a box here. It's one of our six foot grind boxes. Um, it's gotten rented out a few times and used for different things and it's that's why it's a weird turquoise color but it was one just sitting in the driveway so we're gonna use the back side of it to test the ledge cover as well as test the angle iron and then real quick I want to show you guys the coping we put so we get asked questions a lot why we don't use angle iron and like I said I don't like how sharp it is and all those reasons. The other thing too is like, once you put angle iron on top, now it's sticking up a little bit and you have to blend it with the surface. So I just don't want to mess with that. And this stuff is one by two rectangular coping. It has a nice rounded edge. 
So it has thicker walls. The thicker the wall is on the metal, on tubing, the more rounded the edge is gonna get. So if you get some crazy like quarter inch thick schedule 40 or schedule 80, you're gonna get an even more rounded edge. Um, so yeah, this is what we use on all of our boxes. So yeah, let's get right into it. I think first we should do the angle iron, probably the thinner one. I know you guys have lots of internet trolls and stuff that are like, oh, your stuff's so expensive. Wow, I could just put angle iron and it'll be awesome. Like, what are the types of things you're hearing from people? Yeah, I mean, that's it. We hear it all the time, like, yeah, just get a piece of angle iron. Um, so today we went out and did. Most of the angle iron is obviously a little less expensive. Some of these things are, you know, 40 bucks, 45 bucks at Home Depot and other places like that. Um, and they think, yeah, like, this is too expensive. Uh, but we've got a lot more real estate here, right? This is a one by one by, this is six by three. Um, this is professionally powder coated. Again, we've got the felt backing. There's a lot that goes into this in the rounded edge too. So yeah, we hear the comparison and in our minds, I don't, I don't think there's a comparison really, yeah. but we're happy to compare it today. Are we gonna try to attach this with like sticky tape or screw it? What do you think? Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. That's not Grabs and you can hear it. It's like so. Just just for apples to apples. Turn this on here. Typically, the rougher the lead, the better it's gonna grab. The top of this is kind of slick, so I don't think we're gonna have too much movement issues. That rubber really helps on the face, but uh, yeah, let's let's see a couple fifties on this one. Okay, so that, obviously, we didn't have all that noise and all that grab. So much work. Probably better on your trucks. Let's go back to the angle iron, but we'll apply some wax and see how much that helps. We'll see if the wax takes away some of that grabby chunkiness. this than the metal. Just wood. Yeah. <laughs> Old wood. That's perfect. adjusted this it hasn't fallen off and we haven't waxed it at all this is just straight out of the box let's see Woo. okay i want to see two things i want to see how it does on tail slides and i want to see how it does on a blunt because i feel like the blunt might need some wax oh my god it's i like it when you see that That part, so yeah. I could do the whole ledge. Alright? Yeah. I mean, you could do a better one, but that was okay. I'm not gonna lie, when we first did it, I was like, oh man, this thing has like five layers of paint yeah. and the felt is slick. Yeah. So I was kind of worried it was gonna move a little bit, yeah. but that rubber on the front is yeah. grabbing so nice. Yeah. We never touched it, we never moved it. You blunt slid it, you back tail kick flipped it, everything else. So most of the time, like if someone's buying this, they're probably gonna put it on like brick or stucco or like a gritty ledge or a knob ledge and that's obviously going to hold a lot better than a painted surface but I just want to show people that it does stick on really slick things surprisingly so the slickest thing that I can find here we have the bench from the barracks and that's fiberglass and it's like super duper slick so if this thing sticks on there that pretty much like it passes the test it sticks on everything so let's uh let's pull that bench out and we'll throw this uh, cover on. I just want to clear the air. We're not kooks. We know that this doesn't need a cover. We know that it's perfectly fine as it is. We're just trying to prove a point that it will stick on slick surfaces. I can just like hear somebody just like 
Oh my God, those guys are kooks putting covers on big, perfect picnic tables. It didn't slide off. Right. I'm like really happy about that. <laughs> showed angle iron versus curb cover ledge cover at our shop in a controlled environment on a box that we make which is a perfect right angle but as we know a lot of things in the streets aren't perfect sometimes you might have like bigger than a 90 sometimes you might have steeper than a 90 it just depends so this is a ledge that at one point was a spot it's got like some wax residual and it's like a little chunked up but I think nobody's really skated it in a while. I don't know if this is like an attempt at skate stopping or if that's just some weird inconsistency in the concrete. But anyhow, I uh, just want to show you guys angle iron in the streets versus ledge cover in the streets. So we're going to pop this on here. And I actually can't even get it to stay. I mean, if you wanted to, you could you know, put some liquid nails and let it dry for a few hours and make this work. But if you're just looking for like a quick session, this will actually sit on there pretty nicely. And so it's got the rubber, which is gonna grab. Um, so we can just kind of find like a nice spot where this works. Right now? Slicker right now than it should be. I, I think it's because when you were doing those blunts earlier, we it like good we like you waxed the slipper. crap out of it, and then it like sat and baked in the sun. So yeah, it's nice and slippery now. It's a good thing. Though. But uh, but yeah, this ledge is kind of funny because it's like more than a 90, so it's hard to get things to fit nice. And but, even even this on here, like it's not a it's not like a perfect fit. But it works. Though. But it works. Like there is some some gap counts. in there. That's what counts. Yeah, which is cool. It didn't fall off while I skated. Exactly. Plus, if it falls off, it's an easy fix. Definitely, yeah. You it's can not throw like it back on. Yeah, it's not like the spot's gone. It's a liability issue. It's deadly. It's so deadly. 